Hi everyone, I'm back with the dual compressor exercise part 2. The title of the exercise is alternating compressor when loading is light. What all we need to do or what we are asked to implement is that just shift the load between these two pumps with the same constraint, I mean 50% of uh, discharge or a flow rate and uh, we need to use only mm, uh, P1 pneumatic electric switch just to read the pressure of the tank and uh, we need to switch one by one first time this compressor will be running to maintain the temp uh, pressure and the second time this one this should turn off that this should turn on to maintain one by one and we need to keep um, uh, flow rate at 50 percent so it's pretty simple let's go back to uh, to the uh, logix pro and start implementation what all we need to do is bring uh, get familiar with one shot rising instruction if you are not go back here to the slc instruction set and click on osr1 shot rising and read up the whole detail how it works and then once you are done once you are familiar how to use it go back to the logics pro and start implementation so uh, i'll place this one over here and i'll be giving it a address v3 one of zero and uh, then I'll be moving this stuff to the down and uh, okay then I'll be placing this one over here and I'll be reading its status also I'll play it one counter over here okay and let's configure the timer that's all and move this stuff over here I'll, I'll explain it how it works uh, okay then I'll be using one instruction called mask equal mask equal if you are familiar with this instruction go ahead if not go back to the instruction set and read this mask comparison for equal so what i am intended if if the counter let me read this one if the counter is if the counter reading is even then it should turn on the first one if the counter reading is even then uh, out sorry then it should turn on the compressor too and so on so in order to implement this uh, logic what all we need to do is just read com uh, counter accumulator value so we copy this address configure this one the source is cc accumulator value then mask with one in order to detect whether it's even or odd and compare it whether it's one or zero if it's even if it's odd then it will be giving us uh, one and it will be turning on pump one if it's even then it will be turning on pump two so we need to copy this copy this wrong and paste it over here above and same thing and compare it with zero okay and place our here and label it, add it a symbol label it pump 2 and also bring this LED over here and label it 0 2 LED C2 ok that's all about let's test it I hope it should ok we yeah I think we are ok till now so let's try switch it to the programming ma mode and reset your simulation reset counters 
reset all data then program click on run start okay let's decrease the floor are set so that it it can go to the maximum point quickly and uh, you can adjust according to the uh, constraint of the exercise in the exercise we are asked to keep it 120 and the span is 20 but uh, so uh, but I mean I need to show it quickly so I don't want to wait up to 120 so that's why I put it on 40 so right now the counter is counting one which is uh, odd and the pump one is running so let's see it stopped and the flow rate is zero so it's maintained to the uh, set value we need to increase the discharge flow rate so that it should drop the pressure of the tank so that it can turn on the pump according to the logic so once it's drop it should turn on the other one pump 2 which is motor 2 so let's see when it is dropped down to the 20 less than 20 which should turn on yeah as you can see first one first this one was turning on now the second one turned on as you can see the counter is reading 2 and uh, which is even value so based on even and odd I'm switching between the pump 1 and pump 2 that's all what we are asked to implement we have implemented if we click on the stop button it stops if we start it again it's running again it's just do this one because the counter value switch to 3 I hope you would have understand what all we have implemented we used two different instruction in this exercise one is uh, one shot rising instruction and the other one is mass equal so which is under comparison instruction set so I hope you understand and you would be able to implement at your own if no uh, feel free to ask comment I would be there to help you stay tuned for the next part